Are you looking to purchase a new milling machine in the next few months? If so, you want to stick around for this video because I may have an opportunity for you. Now, this is a video on behalf of DTS UK, who are the suppliers of the Corio machines here in the UK. This particular model, this Fox model, uh, is available for delivery after Emo. Now, as you see in the top right-hand corner, Emo runs from the 16th to the 21st of September in Hanover. This machine will be on show, this bridge mill. Now, it has a whopping 5-meter x-axis, a 3,750mm y-axis, and a 1,500mm z-axis. It's an ISO 50. Uh, it has a big plus spindle, and it's a 10,000 RPM. And I'm going to talk to you about something unique about this machine very, very shortly. Uh, you can see bridge type bridge type construction. You can see the application on the table here. This is typically the size of component that you may do on this machine, the type of part. Now the actual table moves on this machine uh, to give you your uh, machining envelope, should I say. Now we did look at a Fox M, which is a, a slightly different model at A and B 2018. This is where the gantry moves up and down as opposed to the table where the table's fixed and the gantry moves. The modeling question that's gonna be at Emo and available on a quick delivery is the Fox machine with uh, a moving table. So what about this? This is the UDX milling head. This is a 10,000, in fact, it's unique, a 10,000 RPM mechanical head. You can see it here in action, surfacing. Now this is unique to Coria, and I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the reasons uh, why it's a pretty special offering. Now in this illustration here, you can see it's, an, it's a milling head, it's the UDX 10,000 RPM, it's an auto indexing head, it's for positional machining. How does it work? Well, essentially there's like a series of hearth couplings on this uh, milling head. Normally it'd be servo driven. Typically most machine tool suppliers have servo heads. This is a mechanical head. The hearth couplings move to different positions, which gives you uh, 162 million possible positions. So what's the advantage? Well, basically, if you were to use a servo head and you were maybe to, to position to an angle, drill, and then thread a hole, if you then moved away to a different position and back again, and you'd probably recut the thread because it's difficult to maintain the repeatability. With a mechanical head, that doesn't happen and they last a lot longer as well. So here we have it again. So this is the machine. It is the Fox machine available from DTS in the UK. It's a Coria machine. You need to go to Emo to see it. It will be sold and it can be delivered within three months. Pretty unusual for a machine of this size. You may often have to wait nine, 10, even 12 months to get a machine of this size delivered. TNC 640 control. I've already told you the, uh, the uh, table working area. The accessories that come with this machine, it's got chip conveyors, two chip conveyors, coolant through the spindle. Uh, it's got automatic tool changer. It's got linear scales as standard on these machines. And I can't uh, forget to tell you that it comes with a five year warranty, something that Coria and DTS are very proud to be able to offer. Here is a little bit about the uh, milling head again, ISO 50, a whopping 22,000 kilograms of clamping force and a 30 kilowatt spindle. It really is something else if you're looking at precision machining, long term results. Uh, you can see this machine at Emo, you can purchase it and have it delivered within three months, um, but be quick because I'm sure it won't be around for long.